Oh, hello, Canada. I didn't realize you were there. Now, you're probably wondering why Rance is reading the Toronto Star as opposed to tearing apart the CBC or CTV. Well, as it turns out, the Toronto Star is fake news. Just recently, the Toronto Star is trying to go by a cooler combination of the two words, and they're calling themselves Tor Star. A side note, if you spell Tor Star backwards, it's Rats Rot. That's pretty much how we're going to be referring to the Toronto Star from here on out is rats rot. Because that's what they're putting out to the public, essentially, is rotting rat carcasses of information. The rats rot started back in the 1800s. In fact, the rat carcass died in 1892 and it's been rotting ever since. The rats rot was founded by a man named Horatio Clarence Hawkins, who became the newspaper's founder along with another future mayor of Toronto, Jimmy Simpson. This should really tell you something, folks, that there is a direct correlation with mass media and politics. We're mass communicating. Oh, yes. That's a powerful new force. Mm -hmm. Take it, Junior. The two founding fathers of Rats Rot both became mayors. That should tell you the power of mass media. They obviously used it to help them. Fast forward to 1899, where Joseph Atkinson had now taken responsibility of becoming the newspaper's editor. He had an early opposition to the Nazi regime. The Toronto Star was actually the first newspaper banned in Germany. The Rats Rot did not shy away from aligning itself with social liberalism. In fact, Joseph Atkinson had a very close relationship with Mackenzie King, the Prime Minister at that time. So again, you see the link between mass media and politics. You can't even get into politics without having the media on your side. Doug found that out the hard way when he had to make up his own media, just to avoid having his own message manipulated before it got to the people. So Atkinson and Mackenzie, they were buds. Actually, many would say that it's Atkinson's influence on Mackenzie King is what started as what we know today as the welfare state. Okay, fast forward to today now, where trust in media is at an all-time low. I would say partly because of Trump exposing what they've actually been doing to us. You are fake news. If the media is not holding the government accountable on the things that it does and it's working hand in hand, then it's going to be kind of like a dictatorship, isn't it? Much like how the CBC and everybody else is covering for Justin Trudeau. Allahu Akbar! At the Rats Rock currently, the publisher's name is John Boyne. The editor is Irene Gentle. They also employ a man by the name of Haroon Sadiqi. He's what the Rats Rock calls their editorial page editor emirates. I don't know what that means to you. <laughs> Let's go back and look at an article that Siddiqui did back in March 7th. 2015. It was entitled, Conservatives Hold Kangaroo Court on Security. The court hearing that this article is referring to was about the RCMP and CSIS and other spy agencies and whether or not they're finding Moss radicalizing the youths. It's time for the Sesame Street alphabet! A is hard! because they had already proven that there are imams preaching hatred and accepting money from oil sheiks. In this article, Siddiqui asked the question to what they consider to be a reliable source, whether the Muslim Brotherhood exists or has infrastructure in North America. But unfortunately, Siddiqui tried to pull a sneaky and he just asked one of his buddies his opinion. So he asked this question to the man by the name of Jamal Badawi. Badawi? Badawi? Botswana. Badawi. So Siddiqui quotes Badawi by saying that the Muslim Brotherhood is not a registered entity in Canada or the USA, nor does it have a branch in North America. First off, we know that's not true. Just look at the people in our government. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And you know that I know that you know that I know no know that we both know about this. Yeah. <laughs> But your average brain-dead liberal reading this rat's rot will not see that because your average person would believe that the Toronto Star rat's rot has credible fact checkers working for them that couldn't, shouldn't, and wouldn't let you down. Right? 
Well, just for the hell of it, why don't we look into Siddiqui's source, Badawi, Botswana. To be honest, this Wikipedia page is pretty boring, so I'm just gonna let Kelly Day spice it up a bit, okay? He's a writer, he's a teacher, he's an interfaith preacher, inspired by the Muslim Brotherhood. He did his undergraduate in the 1960s in Egypt during the peak of the Muslim Brotherhood's influence. Badawi has been quoted and it even says on his Wikipedia page that Hassan Albana and the Muslim Brotherhood are his source of inspiration. Hassan Albana was the founder of the Muslim Brotherhood. It also says on his Wikipedia page that he has worked with a number of Islamic relief groups and many different affiliations with Islamic groups. One such group that he has worked with is CCAIR, which is now known as the NCCM. In 2014, the NCCM sued Stephen Harper for allegations of claiming that they have ties to Hamas. FCNA has ties to the Muslim Student Association, and they are also the founders of the ISNA. Islamic Society of North America. And not to mention that the Muslim Brotherhood themselves identify this man as a leading figure of their organization. And that young people should emulate him. Kill the unbelievers wherever you find them. The Muslim Brotherhood even lists him on the North American Board of Directors. He was also on the founding Board of Directors of the Muslim American Society, which has been deemed a terrorist organization and a front group of the Muslim Brotherhood by the United Arab Emirates in 2014. The same dude has a website on how to properly beat your wife. The Toronto Star, or Rat's Rot, likes to use these kind of editors and sources to bring you news. There's an extensive list of sources that the Toronto Star likes to use as Muslim representatives of the community and if you go over to the Quiggin Report number 33, he lists them all. Omar Algebra used to be a member of the community editorial board. During that time, he also advocated for Sharia law in Canada. These are the people that are bringing you news. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Let's take a look at a more recent article done by the Rats Rod on the Danforth shooting and compare that to the actual facts that we know. Now they paint a picture of a kid that had no priors and wasn't known to police, or at least they do that in the first couple of sentences, but they contradict themselves later down to say that he had two run-ins with police. They don't mention any of his traveling abroad, they don't mention his brother and the criminal activity that he's done. I urge you to go look at Faith Goldie's video on the Danforth shooting. She brought some very interesting facts to light, but part of those facts that were kind of overlooked and overshadowed by the chemical weapons was this man here. Mohammed Hashim, who on occasion gets money from Justin Trudeau's liberal government. A guy whose public relations and media work has been widely credited by insiders as framing a new narrative for Muslims in Canada. These people are what have become to be known as spin doctors. They spin the truth to make it sound good so the public isn't outraged. Now, stocks in the Toronto Star are at an all-time low, and that... Oh, wait. That's a graph of how many people die by choking on their own bed sheets. Which I suppose is kind of comparable to the people that actually read the rat's rot. And to be honest, the amount of people dying in their bed sheets isn't enough. There are still lots of people reading this bullshit and thinking it's truth. But like I was saying, the stocks in the Toronto Star have sunk significantly. They're down to about $1.20 a stock. And you're probably saying to yourself, where Derek, where am I supposed to get the news from now? Well, I urge you to go on sites like Canada.ca yourself. Go on intelligence websites. Check out Steeper 33 to see what's actually going on in the House of Commons. That's how I actually got started on this stuff. I urge you to check out the Quiggan Report and the research that they've done. I'll do the best I can to bring you what I can, but I really urge you to just look into it. And when you look into it, you gotta look into it. Because when you do, you will realize that there has been a Muslim representative strategically placed throughout politics and the media that the narrative has been completely manipulated and turned so you can't see what's actually happening to your country. Now there have been a few people that have figured out what's going on and despite your ridicule and constant barrage of name calling, these are the same people that you spit on because you truly believe that they are wrong. 
but take a real look and open your eyes and get your head out of the spin doctor's bubble and look for yourself and you will witness what's actually happening to your country in real time. Peace out.